everybody, this is Suzanne Hyren of Mamie Papyrus. This week, let's look at vellum and how to use it. Let's get started. Hi everybody, this week's tip is about using vellum. I really love working with vellum. It gives a soft, nice feel to your cards. But there's tips and tricks you need to learn um, to be successful with it. So first I wanted to show you how I did some embossing on vellum and how it, it becomes white around the edges that were embossed. So it gives you really nice soft look. And, and this one is on a pink vellum. So it softens the look of the color as well. So that's for the embossing. Now when you do emboss, um, you might want to use glue dots to glue them to your piece and maybe cover it with uh, a ribbon or a decorative element of some sort. I've tried the tip with the glue on the back, but it just doesn't work for me. It either um, warps the paper or it doesn't stay glued. So I wouldn't recommend using the glue on the back of the paper. So here is what just a piece of vellum looks like when it covers a piece of designer series paper. Look how soft it makes the images. So nice. So you can put your greeting on here or emboss it and it, it gives you a really soft, nice look. Here's a different piece of paper and see how it changes the whole aspect of your designer series paper. So that's another idea with vellum. Here I created a flower with different layers of vellum. So you can see through it a little bit, but once they're on top of each other, they look lovely. And you can still bend them, you can still play around with them with your bone folder and they will keep the shape that you give it. So that's for the flower. Next, I emboss this with embossing powder and my heat gun. Usually I like to heat from the bottom so it doesn't warp the paper. And on vellum, vellum is a bit fussy. You need to stay quite a bit of a distance from your piece of paper so it doesn't warp from the, the uh, heat gun. So. I colored this guy from the back. So let's do this. I used a blender pen and I colored the staying within the outline of the embossing powder. And you can add different layers of ink. Did the same here. So the alcohol from the blends will take a little bit more time to dry. You may want to dry it with your heat tool. And again, make sure it's on a low setting. So see your colors turn out a lot softer. This is the result. See how soft they look through the vellum. Like this. And it's just about to be dry now. I don't know if you can tell the alcohol is drying and your colors are just softened through the vellum. So that's my tip for today. I hope you enjoyed that and you're going to learn to love vellum as much as I do. See you next time.